If students enter the classroom on August 13th, they'll be required to up the date on their immunizations, and doctor's offices are getting busy. SNN's John Dowling takes a look at where you can get free care and low-cost physicals on the Sun Coast. Time is running out for students to receive vaccinations before the first bell rings. Um, the best time is you know, now um, to get in and get the vaccinations um, before uh, there is any restriction for them entering into school. It's getting busier and busier getting closer to school. Staying healthy is an essential part of performing well in school, which is why the Florida Department of Health offers free immunizations and $25 physicals. Coming into school, um, they're always exposed to different things, but making sure that the children are vaccinated, um, it's preventing disease, it's preventing the spread of disease, it's also preventing them from getting things too. But vaccinations are not just important for young students. Community health nurse Donna Priest says high schoolers can start thinking about optional vaccinations. When students are moving through high school, it's not required, but it is a really good time to make sure that they are up to date with um, HPV and also meningitis, which is something that they are starting to really require for college. Even if your vaccinations are up to date, a yearly physical can catch medical issues that students may develop as they mature. Many changes can occur and also um, there can be some health issues that can be picked up within these physicals. So it's always a good idea to make sure that they have one on an annual basis. Priest says if you want to beat the rush for last minute back to school physicals, come in as soon as you can. You know, we want to make sure that their first day is successful and that they have the required immunizations and physical that they need for entrance. Reporting in Manatee County, I'm John Dowling, SNN, the Suncoast News Network. John, thank you for that. And we have the health department hours on our website, snntv.com. And tune in Thursday as our back to school series looks at how superintendents are preparing for that big first day. And it won't be long. And no. all the kids and the school buses will be back to school normal around here anyway. Yeah, less than two weeks away. Hope those kids are getting ready with, yeah. with our help, of course.